Hey, it's Blake here, and I want to talk about how I've been using AI to make my products more desirable to customers uh, and make the customer buying experience better on eBay and how I'm using this on my own websites as I go forward because I'm launching more products. I've got all this you know, energy towards making more products and using AI uh, has been very helpful towards that, both in visual design, copywriting, uh, name brainstorming, stuff like that. Can we do some lead gen stuff? Maybe, I don't know. But for the time being, we're just gonna talk about using this to maximize how you would sell on eBay or Shopify or Amazon. And we're gonna stray away from like the private label, private product uh, type stuff that I'm still kind of working through. So product descriptions, product titles, big, easy way to use AI to make your business better. You can use Jasper or ChatGPT or any of these chat bots that can go through words and give you synonyms and give you uh, terms that have some kind of secondary or tertiary value to what you're talking about. Here's an example. Uh, I sold a book called Naval Seabees. I don't remember the exact title. It was a weird title, a word I didn't really know, but it was um, one of those vintage picture books that showed all of the naval vessels from World War II. And as a, instead of going to Wikipedia or Googling what were examples of vessels in the book, I said, uh, here's the topic of the book. What's a good eBay title that I'm trying to, that I'm using to, to get more long tail traffic? You have to be kind of specific with what you're asking on these chat bots. I don't like it the most. It's kind of like, why doesn't it just know? You know, but that's me having my expectations way too high for, uh, for a, you know, a glorified chat bot. Um, you can use it to do that. I also use it to punch up my description. I use a template for almost every single one of my eBay descriptions. And I, I said, okay, I, I had this do some copywriting work. When I say punch up, what I mean is make it more concise and make the language more active. So I gave it my existing um, description template and I said, make this shorter, make it more concise, make it punchier. It removed like four or five words. It made the, the language more active as opposed to passive. And now is that gonna result in more sales? I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm hesitant to say yes, but it reads better. Uh, and maybe that's going to make a buyer think I'm more competent and they're going to become more comfortable uh, searching other products out there. I don't know. It's the kind of thing where I'm sure over the long run, it's going to have a benefit that's noticeable, but I couldn't give you any specific example of how it's actually going to convert a sale. It's, you know, it's the kind of thing where if you get 1% better every day after a year, you're going to be a heck of a lot better. Well, if I can do 1% better on my eBay listings every single day, then yeah, I'll get more sales. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily rely totally on this to write every description for every product because there is like some latency with getting your results back and it doesn't always know what you're talking about and I might give you some nonsensical stuff, but I think using it as a copywriter or an editor um, is, is a pretty beneficial way of doing it. What you can also do, and I've seen other people do this way more than me, I'm pretty lacking in this category as is, but that's customer service messages. People have used ChatGPT to respond to tons of messages. Now the issue I have is that you're copying and pasting. Maybe for a lot of people, the most beneficial uh, course of action is to hire virtual assistants and have those virtual assistants use ChatGPT to answer commonly asked questions. Um, things about, you know, what is, uh, does this product work with Windows 95? Stuff like that where uh, there's definitely an answer to it. The answer takes some some small amount of research. And maybe you have to use like auto GPT and not chat DPT. So it has, or GPT-4. So it has like browsing access. Uh, but it's the kind of thing where I would love a more direct integration. It's not there yet, but it certainly is useful uh, in at least freeing up the mental bandwidth or allowing you to dictate a course of actions to your to your virtual assistants for how they can answer specific uh, product related questions. I mean, obviously you're gonna get those questions like, when does this ship out? You know, stuff like that, which uh, AI is not too helpful with. Uh, but the more, um, the, the, the questions that require, uh, you know, a modicum of research, I think that using AI for that is really gonna become extremely helpful in the future. Possibly infuriating for somebody who has real niche questions, but for the middle, you know, 80% of comments and questions you're gonna get, I think it's going to be great. Uh, what I've also been doing, and this is brand new, I have not made a sale yet, but I can just feel that it's a good, it, it's, you know, a gold mine, is using these, uh, these text to image 
uh, artificial intelligence programs like uh, Mid Journey or Blue Willow or Canva has one or there's dozens right now and they're all kind of fighting for market share so a lot of them are still free using those text to image programs to create images or parts of images very simple assets uh, like what I was doing is creating different kinds of skulls like uh, here's a silly bunny skull here's a demon skull stuff like that because I think that people have they like skulls I've sold a lot of skull merch over the years and it's an easy thing for uh, for these AI programs to um, just to create out of thin air using that to do print on demand merchandise through printful it's like 35 cents a sale you pay some percentage I believe to printful when it sells on eBay but it's print on demand um, and you can use this you know I guess I'll, I'll take a step back print on demand is when the customer buys it and then the third party company prints it off and ships it to the customer like Teespring um, Amazon has their own version of it I forget the name of that maybe it's just called Amazon print on demand but you can use artificial intelligence to create these images in bulk and then just sift through what works and what doesn't work uh work i mean and you're really saving yourself a heck of a lot of time and money if you were otherwise using fiverr freelancers or if you were doing the graphic design work yourself now you know just a quick caveat of that a lot of the images you're going to get unless they're very basic you know like vector design simple stick figure type stuff are going to be a little bit wonky like the eyes are weird, the fingers are weird. An example that I'll give you right now is I was doing um, portraits of cats in various professional positions. So I had a sea cat with a cat's head. I had a janitor with a cat's head. I had a construction worker with a cat's head. And I envisioned these going on posters potentially or stickers maybe. Um, I had to put it into uh, Photoshop and like round out the eyes and make the pupils uh, symmetrical and little things like that. But within, mo you know, maybe 25 seconds or a minute, I was given a 95% finished template that I could then just go in um, and, and do my little tweaking on. I'm not going to tell you the guys my eBay store where I'm doing that yet because I'm still kind of um, embarrassed about the quality of it, to be totally honest. But I think it's good. I think that there's like a lot of potential there and I really like it a lot. Another thing I'm doing... Uh, and I don't want to make it sound like I'm doing a million things at once. I'm really just doing three things. I'm doing eBay. I'm experimenting with print-on-demand stuff. I probably spent three hours doing it this morning. And then the third thing I'm doing is I'm launching a private label. We'll call it that. It really is not private label. It's actually a repackaged product, but we're going to call it private label um, trading card product. And I'll, I'll give you guys more info about that in the forthcoming months because I'm still finalizing the packaging and finalizing procurement and hopefully doing some really cool lead gen stuff that I think you're going to like. But using chat GPT to brainstorm really catchy titles. Uh, you know, I say, okay, I want it to be alliterative. I don't want to include these words that are already um, words used by other companies doing the same thing that I want to do. And I want it to be two words. Giving it those parameters gave me about 200 um, bullet points that I could then sift through and say, okay, more like this, don't do it like this. And by the end of the night, I did this like a week and a half ago, I was really confident in the title I had. I'm a big believer that if you have a good product title, if it rolls off the tongue, then it makes influencer marketing, which is my background and a lot of things I've done, so, so much easier. So on a side note, if you like trading cards and sports cards, um, you know, stick around. I'm doing these videos every single month through May, and I'm sure in about two weeks, I'll run out of eBay things to talk about, and I'm going to have to go more into, um, you know, my other uh, business and product ideas. And the final thing that I think this is like the most basic thing, but it really is just like, what I love about this stuff is you can have virtual assistants do it. And this is doing content for websites for AI. Now it's tough because as content becomes so low barrier, yes, the market's gonna be saturated and flooded. But if you're able to say, okay, here is um, the intent of the content, here are the keywords, uh, and here's the tone I want you to have, if you give a virtual assistant a spreadsheet with 75 or 100 articles with intent, tone, keywords, they can go through, put that in some GPT program, and then post dozens, hundreds of blog posts. 
it just makes copywriting so much easier. Now, it's never going to be like academic or scientific copy, but just going through like old websites I have and updating the catalog. Okay, like here, you know, like I have websites that talk about old candy and I have websites that talk about beard oil uh, and websites that talk about beef jerky and the content's like 10 years old. And so that's good and bad. It's good because awesome, an old uh, uh, you know, a uh, old history of content is a great signal for Google for ranking, but it's bad because the content's out of date. It's not necessarily formatted the right way. All sorts of things were just due to my negligence pursuing other businesses and being kind of like overwhelmed with stuff. It's fallen off the radar. And so by being able to, I don't want to say spin out content because it's not that it's not just rehashing the words. It's actually like iterating and adding and being constructive by doing whatever we're going to call that in the future. I'm able to refresh these websites with the same keywords, the same intent, the same tone, uh, but much more, um, targeted and nailed down intentions, which I, I think is just a total game changer. Unfortunately, too early to tell so far, but I want to give you guys an update on what I'm doing and the things I'm pursuing. And hopefully this, you know, little 11 minute video has given you a little bit of insight into what you can use all these new AI tools do to do to make more money either on your eBay store, your Amazon store, or really any products at all. Again, I'm Blake. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and I'll see you guys later.